Today we'll be cleaning out the inside of the, um, the MacBook Pro. We have a, uh, a screw here from our screwdriver here from iFixit that'll get us in there. The um, I'll link how to get this below. And then we have some compressed air. Nothing fancy. And the reason why I'm doing this is, is they, um, the dust will build up back here at the, at the outtake and at the intakes. So basically we want to get this uh, completely cleared out. And when I do move the MacBook this way, you hear a little bit of a rattle, which is the uh, the fan um, is you know full of dust. Basically, is pushing back against the change in the the direction. So let's get started. Put down any sort of lining that you can to keep things from being scratched up. We're going to flip the MacBook over. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven screws. Sorry, no ten. So let's unscrew these. Okay, now gently remove here. There we go, see this dust that we have here? Got all this dust from to clean off. And you'll see in here these very, very, very dusty fans. So um, we're gonna get some uh, towel and we're gonna scrub this down first and we're gonna blow it. We need a little bit of water to get this a little better here. Don't bend it, whatever you do. So we've cleaned this one now. We, did, we basically ran this under the sink, just under the faucet, and cleaned it off uh, with a paper towel. Pretty easy to do, just make sure it's completely dry before you put it back on the laptop. Okay, now, the real culprit here is these two fans, let's zoom in. Here's where most of our problems lie, is these two fans. So basically the, um, the fans throw the, um, the air across the CPU and then out the back here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by blowing this to compressed air. Careful with these tabs right here. They will come up if you're not careful. They actually connect to uh, the bottom of the casing right here, right there. Give a, a side exposure. Uh, I'll say it still needs a little bit of love up at the uh, top here. spots. Make sure everything is dried out. And you want to find these two connectors and connect it to the guys in the bottom here. One, two. Now one by one we put these screws back in. All done. 